Hi and welcome to Zoom TV, the show where we explore everything that flies, drives and floats and invite you along for the experience. We've got a jammed show for you today. Dan Paris looks at a Hyundai i40. It's efficient, it's economical and it's spacious. Oh, and it's a Hyundai, the i40 in fact. Thanks to Sunliner, I'll show you a camper van with a difference. This is their brand new G57 top of the range luxury motorhome. United Fuel Injection teaches Dan exactly what it is they do. Obviously with modern demands on the environment, they've had to come up with a new type of fuel injection system. Common Rail Diesel is it. And our Sander celebrity hitchhiker today is V8 supercar driver Carl Reindler. OK, so get comfy, get warm, because it's time for Zoom TV. As a typical Aussie, if someone asked me to name a traditional cross-country commuter, there's really only two names that come to mind. There's the Falcon and then there's the Commodore. Or at least that's been the case for a number of generations now. You see, what's happening, and more so recently, is that this country's automotive industry, it's evolved. And as car buyers, we now have choices that not one of us could have imagined a decade ago. What does this mean? In a word, choice vehicle owners can select a car to almost perfectly suit their needs. How does this relate to the Falcon and the Commodore? Well, quite simply, I found an alternative. It's efficient, it's economical, and it's spacious. Oh, and it's a Hyundai, the i40 in fact. Now John Hughes Hyundai have been kind enough to lend me this little beauty for the day. I should point out there are a number of models in the range. Must have done something right down the car yard because what they've entrusted me with is the i40 premium turbo diesel. This is one car I do not need to scratch. While we're on the subject, let's have a peek at what that 1.7 litre four-cylinder turbo diesel engine looks like. There she is. That punches out 100 kilowatts of power at 4,000 revs and uses fuel at just six litres per 100 kilometres. But I want to talk more about that in a minute. For now, let's not muck around, take it for a spin. While I get up to speed, can I point out that this car has received a five-star safety rating? And that's out of five stars, by the way, which is always nice to hear when you're using it to move the family. To my left here is a six-speed auto gearbox. Marry that to the 1.7-litre engine, and it's the very reason for that outstanding fuel consumption. Like I said, six litres of fuel per 100 kilometres. That's more than 600 kilometres per tank. Driving it is very civilised. At low speeds, the throttle feels quite smooth, almost courteous, but open it up and there's enough poke to confidently overtake. The balance here between power and fuel economy has been well considered by the maker. And although I love a little G-force, my wallet will appreciate the savings. Now the premium model also comes with a reversing camera and sensors. This is where you'll see the image. Other features include a sunroof, rain sensing wipers, ventilated sports seats and xenon headlights. There's the usual airbags, six speakers stereo, and a trip computer. And the power steering is electronically assisted, which again aids that smooth ride. While I'm in here, something has to be said about all the interior space in this wagon. It's clearly been designed to seat adults comfortably over long distances, which is great to see. But then, there's this huge cargo space. Several suitcases, no trouble at all. The Hyundai i40 Premium is part of a new wave of vehicles that offer an alternative to your traditional transport. John Hughes Hyundai has them freshly polished and they're ready to test down at his showroom in Victoria Park. Well, to find out more, follow the links from our site. It's zoomtv.com.au. In a nutshell, I think as the car industry continues to evolve over the next decade, this i40 here is a classic example of the number of choices that we're going to have on offer in this country. Imagine what lies ahead. Someone whispered in my ear recently that the next generation of cars simply won't need to be driven at all. They'll drive for you. We'll see. What a beautiful view from the Sydney Harbour. There's heaps to come on Zoom TV, so stick around. We'll be back after the break.
Now, over the years, I've had a handful of diesel engines, and I must say, blowing a bit of black smoke or lacking a bit of power or even poor fuel consumption, I thought went hand in hand with owning one of these cars. That's not the case. It turns out that could actually be a sign of a poor fuel injection system. Now, it must have been, I'm a little bit out of my league with this, but I'm at the right place. I'm at United Fuel Injection, and I'm here to catch up with Ken Ringrose. He's going to point me in the right direction. Ken, how are you, mate? How are you going, mate? <laughs> Good to Good see, to you, see again. you again. What yeah. are you looking at? This all looks very high tech, very precision. What's this? Well, what we've got here is a clean room. This is where we actually assemble common rail diesel fuel injectors and pumps. The older systems, which were very good and efficient in their day, obviously with modern demands on the environment, they've had to come up with a new type of fuel injection system. Common rail diesel is it. And that is more powerful, more efficient in all types of um, applications like commercial vehicles and sedans. Anything Audis, BMWs, VWs, um, Alphas, they've all got diesel engines in them these days and they perform beautifully and the fuel economy is outstanding. So what about the parts? You know, do you use genuine parts? Absolutely, Dan. We are agents for Bosch, Siemens VDO, Delphi, um, Denso, fuel injection systems, mm. which are actually used in these vehicles by the manufacturers. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I'd love to see the process, actually. Can, can, you, uh, can you show me through it? Absolutely. We've got a vehicle in the workshop here. Let's go and have a look. Well, Dan, here we've got a, a diesel alpha, which has been brought in for some diagnostic work to be done on it. Oh, okay, so with a diesel, how do you know? What are the symptoms before uh, you, know, you know to bring it in? Well, if, for example, if you've got excessive smoke, poor fuel economy, a diesel knock, heart starting issues, best bring it in and we can hook it up to our scan tool and diagnose the vehicle for you. Sounds like all the things that are happening with my car at the moment. So I guess it's all computer linked these days. This is what diagnoses the issues? Absolutely. We've got all the scan tools necessary to diagnose these vehicles. After this stage of the process, I mean, what happens next? Well, for example, if an injector on this vehicle is gone or the common rail supply pump, we can remove it and test it. So what we can do is take you over to our injector tester and show you what we do. Oh, it's great, Ken. Let's have a look. Excellent. Cheers. Oh, well, Dan, Andre is actually testing the injector as we speak. Well, this is uh, high tech. I wouldn't expect this. So, what's this here? Well, what we do, Dan, is we actually remove an injector from a vehicle, for example, bring it across and test it to confirm that it is faulty. We don't want to go and repair an injector that's not faulty. Okay, so this isn't actually the repair phase. This is actually you're just testing it to make sure that it's uh, it's got a problem. Absolutely. And once we've confirmed it's faulty, it goes to the other side, stripped and assessed, and then reassembled in our clean room, dust-free environment and then brought back over to a different test machine which goes through a rigorous test. A lot of stages. Absolutely. <laughs> Next one. Have a look. Yeah, lead on. Oh, by the way, Dan, while we're passing through here, we do repair EUI injectors fitted to agricultural equipment, trucks, road haulage, um, things like that. What's EUI stand for? Uh, EUI is electronic unit injector. Uh, that is what one looks like actually. So it's slightly different to common rail. You've got a plunger, the injector actually pressurizes the fuel and injects it. It's amazing. You've got the whole industry wound up, haven't you? We have. Yeah, <laughs> let's keep going. Ken, I'm so impressed with your machinery here. This is, you know, no exception. But this is the end of the line when it comes to testing the injectors, isn't it? It is, Dan. Yeah, this, this unit here will test four, five or six injectors depending on what your engine's got in the cylinders. 100% um, test, there's no room for human error whatsoever. So once it comes out of here, I mean because this is a computer test, and you know, like you say there's no, no human error here, once it comes out it's as good as new, isn't it? Absolutely, Dan. If it's not right, it's wrong. <laughs> I love that motto. Thanks for showing us through, Ken. Yep, you're welcome. So it turns out your diesel could be quieter, cleaner and more efficient. In fact, you wouldn't even know that these days a lot of cars are indeed diesels. For more info, go to unitedfuel.com.au or follow the links from ours, Zoom TV. A few weeks back, I took you ballooning over the city of Melbourne. Well, today I'm back with Balloon Sunrise for round two. Only this time, we're going to do it like they did in the olden days, silently over the countryside. Balloon Sunrise pick you up from the Belgaunia State Winery and from there it's a quick drive to the launch site. Even though hot air ballooning is entirely dependent on the weather, the odds of flying here are extremely high. And that's because the Yarrow Valley is naturally sheltered by the surrounding ranges.
Once the balloon is stretched to full size, we gently begin to float until the landscape is a patchwork quilt below us. Hey Marlon, I'm absolutely loving your office. It's a tough job, isn't it? It's a tough job. Have you been doing it for a while? I've been flying commercially for about 20 years. And uh, through the Yarra Valley here? Uh, in the Yarra Valley, backward and forward for 10 years, 12 years. Always see coming back, seem to come back to the Yarra Valley. It's a really pretty spot to fly. What are, what are some of the places we're looking at? I didn't realise that Melbourne was so surrounded in hills. Look, uh, Melbourne, the Dandenong's right down to the south. Great view over the city. The Warren Mate Hills here. Uh, the main show on wineries and Hillsville, just tucked over, over to the east here. There's, there's no chance we can duck down and grab a couple of wines? Maybe I'll later. <laughs> If the Melbourne City experience was the champagne, then this has to be the cognac. Slow, smooth, and of course, enjoyed by an open fire. Most flights last an hour, depending on the wind direction and strength. But up here, time fades into irrelevance as you watch the countryside come to life. Don't let the landscape fool you up here, it's anything but lonely. Some of these baskets can hold up to 16 people, which makes for an incredible social event to share with your family, friends, or even work colleagues. What do you think, girls? Yeah, yeah it's great. Once we've landed, it's back to the Belgownia State Winery for a five-star champagne breakfast with the pilot and a chat about the flight. If you want the traditional ballooning experience, then this is it. There's no alarm clocks, no traffic jams, and no deadlines. There's just the occasional roar of the burner as you float gently with the breeze. So get out of your chair and into the air. Check out zoomtv.com.au and follow the links to Balloon Sunrise. Why not take advantage of what the beautiful Yarra Valley has to offer and spend the night or the weekend at the luxurious Belgauni Estate Vineyard Resort and Spa? There are over 65 rooms and suites to choose from, each decked out in opulent style. Soak away the city tension in your own spa or just soak up the magical view from your balcony with a glass of Belgauni Estate's finest. There's a gourmet restaurant on site and it's only a short drive into Tarawara to sample the local produce and enjoy the Yarra Valley region hospitality. So if you're ready to be wine, dined and pampered, check out zoomtv.com.au and follow the links through to the Balgauni Estate Wine. After the break, thanks to Sunliner, I'm going to show you how to head away on a good old fashioned Aussie road trip, take your home with you and best of all, do it in style. You know, us Aussies work pretty hard all year round to make a living. And when it comes to our holidays, we really want to enjoy them. Now, most of my friends and family would jump on a plane and look for an adventure overseas. And I've got to say, why is that? We have such a beautiful country here, Australia, that we're proud to call home. Now, the only answer that makes sense to me is they don't understand how easy it is to hit the open road in search of an adventure right here. Well, today, thanks to Sunliner, I'm going to show you. This is their brand new G57 top of the range luxury motorhome. Once I show you inside, you are going to want one. Sunliner know when it comes to your holiday, you want to do it on your terms. That's why they offer literally thousands of options so that you can customise your motorhome to suit you perfectly. And with that in mind, let's get started. One of the things you get with Sunliner is choice. And the first choice you're gonna to have to make is which chassis to mount your motorhome to. Well, today we've chosen the G57 to be mounted on to an Iveco daily body, which means we're gonna get years of hassle-free motoring. And one of the best things with the G57 is you get a mid-peak roof line, which means you get heaps of storage over the cabin still without the towering roof. 
Sunliner have also cleverly designed the exterior of the G57 and all the tough but lightweight fibreglass panels and fairings are 100% replaceable, so you don't have to get a whole new wall after every little ding. The minute you step inside the G57, you're going to be blown away. I mean, the entire side slides out to reveal what can only be described as an impressive living area. Plus, everything has been finished off really, really well. You get a stove top, you get an oven, you get heaps of storage options, you get a large two-door fridge, microwave, reverse cycle air conditioning, and this is probably one of the most important things, you get a large double bed with inner spring mattress. The only way you're gonna know you're on holiday is because of that view. The entire right-hand side of the G57 slides out to give you maximum possible room inside your traveling home. In fact, the slide-out modular on the G57 is the largest slide section that Sunliner make, and I think you'll agree that it makes the living area even more comfortable. So Tori, what makes the Sunliner RV so good? It's our finish, it's our construction, a lot of things you don't see. And basically Sunliner has been a leading manufacturer in the RV industry for the past 40 years. Okay, so when you say the things you can't see, I mean obviously you can tell on the outside the finishes are great. You're talking about underneath or you're talking about inside the... Yeah, certainly underneath we've got a full sealed chassis. Uh, everything's fiberglass within the, the timber side of things. Everything on the internal side of the motorhome is all screwed and glued. Well, it's kind of pointless having a good finish if it can't be supported. That's right. The options continue on the inside with your choice of either classic or modern styling. And whichever you choose, the finish will be superb with clean lines and cleverly placed storage areas. The G57 also comes with reverse cycle air conditioning and plenty of ventilation so you can keep your new home at whatever temperature you choose. Now one of the things I love about Sunliner is their quality, attention to detail and of course their finish. Now nothing proves this more than the fact that they install in every single motorhome an inner spring mattress. Now stuff like this is going to make all the difference when it comes to your next holiday. It all adds up to a spectacular package and the best bit is with Sunliner you can personalise it to suit you. Have your holidays on your terms with Sunliner Motorhomes. And if you want more information, go to sunliner.com.au or follow the links from Zoom TV. Coming up, I catch up with this week's Asanda celebrity hitchhiker, V8 supercar driver, Carl Reindler. That's next up on Zoom TV. Welcome back to Zoom TV and my favourite segment, the Asanda Finance Celebrity Hitchhiker in the John Hughes Zoomobile. Now today's celebrity is very famous for a bad accident in the V8 supercars. He didn't even start the race. It is the very famous Carl Reindler. And I think I've found him. There wouldn't be too many people in a green V8 supercar suit. Mr. Carl Reindler, how are you? Yeah, pretty good. I figured you were the V8 supercar driver. That's right, what are you doing around here? Oh, mate, I'm looking for a man in the green suit. You I found, found him. <laughs> but get in the back, answer my questions, I'll drop you off where you go. Sounds great. Carl, welcome to the back of the Santa Finance Zoom mobile. I'm excited to have you in the back because you're about the only guy I know that's been uh, roasted. That's right. Uh, way to put me on the spot. <laughs> Certainly was roasted. Uh, that fateful day at Barbagallo, pretty horrifying experience. Literally had my race car blow up in a big ball of flames. Take us through what happened for the people that maybe out there didn't see it. So I'm sitting on the grid like any other race. Uh, grid position 13, would you believe? Lucky 13. I'm not superstitious for the record. The red light comes on, on the line locker, clutches in. It's on the floor but starts to slip. Eventually the engine just died, so the clutch failed. Looking in my rear vision mirror, the last thing I saw was the Stratco car actually just missed me. And then Steve Owen in the VIP Petford's car hit me uh, 140k an hour, 37G, which is a massive impact. Yeah. The sheer force actually split the firewall open and the fuel started flowing inside oh, the wow. car. I reckon eight or 900 degrees inside the car. To go through that, walk out with a few scars is just incredible. You with the Kelly brothers, mm. what's that like? It's been great so far. Um, I spent a lot of time in January uh, in the workshop, getting to know the guys. The crew seem really good, it's a good vibe. 
I can learn a lot from them. They're all good guys and um, very helpful so far. Yeah, the one thing that I'm sure everyone at home wants to know is they'd love to hear about the life style of a V8 supercar driver within the season. I mean, it's yeah. pretty glamorous. I'm sure you <laughs> realise it's not all glitz and glamour. I, if I'm at a race meeting, I'd be lucky to see a grid girl, um, <laughs> firstly. This is the Asanda Finance Fast Five questions. Yep. Okay, first car you ever owned. First car I ever owned was a Renault Clio Sport. Very well balanced. It may have seen the odd circuit or two. What, in your opinion, is the worst car currently sold, old or new, available on the market now? The Renault Megane with that big rear end. You know, it's a love-hate thing. You love it or you hate it. Carl, what is your opinion of the best car currently retailed on the street? Golf GTI. Fantastic engine, fantastic gearbox. Now, Carl, what car do you currently drive? I actually drive a Volkswagen at the moment. It's the, uh, the Tiguan, the soft rotor. Now, Carl, the big question, your biggest fear? Heights. I, I hate heights. Drive a race car any day, I'm in control. The heights bother me. Carl, we're done. Thanks Thank very you. much. I told you it easy. Very easy. Kidnapping is going to happen. I can see it in your eyes. Like, I think you let me yeah, out. Yeah, no, I've got an escape route. We have to. We want to be back here next week. We've got someone else to fit in. Well, it's come to an end. The show is over for today. We'll be back next week. Until then, if you want more Zoom, go to zoomtv.com.au or even grab our free iPhone app made free thanks to Asanda. Bye for now. And remember, whatever you do that Zooms, make sure you do it safe. And that's a wrap.